Hey y'all, it's Michelle with The Scattered Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited to be um, joining Sarah Scraps with her series, Laura Whitaker's Sketches Reimagined. And I just showed you the sketch that we're going to be using and the pictures that I'm using. And I'm using Happiness is Homemade by Laura Whit Lori Whitlock from Echo Park. And what I'm going to be doing is making some paper pieced embellishments today. And I've just recently got this die set that I'm going to use. It's the Sizzix Finlets die set by George Evans. And it is so cute. It's got the mixer and the teapot and the kitchen um, scale and utensils and since I am scrapbooking today about our um, trip to go and see Alton Brown live I thought these would be absolutely perfect especially the mixer that looks very much like a KitchenAid mixer and he uses that in his show um, that uh, called Good Eats that we watched on TV, especially when the kids were younger. We've done a lot of Alton Brown recipes and um, very much enjoy watching him on TV. So what I'm doing is I got several different scraps just from my scrap bin and I picked out some papers to in the colors that go with the papers I picked out for my layout and I wish actually that I had like flames for the mixer because in his TV show he actually has flames painted on his mixer <laughs> that would have been perfect but here you can see I'm using some scrap paper to cut out this little whisk here and what I've been doing is cutting the pieces to kind of go around the die and I've just been using different little scraps and things and when I want a, a part of my die to be a different color I cut it out and trim it so that I can put my die in a little spot that way I don't have to do a too much trimming when I get this one done I'll see where it's at and then trim it as necessary and let's see most of the time to get all these pieces out I will drop the die from not too high off the desk but I just kind of drop it to see if it'll fall out otherwise I'll get out my little pokey tool and poke stuff out. Now as I was looking at my pieces I noticed that they all kind of blended together so I had used this red for a little accent piece on the mixer and a little accent piece um, on the scale so I decided to use the red pattern paper on the little tea kettle as well. So I'm going to go ahead and change that out the handle there and a little topper and I'm also going to make the spout instead of that kind of muted dark green I'm going to go ahead and change it out for this lighter gray that's um, that I used for the mixing bowl and for the bowl of the scale so I'm going to cut that out and what I'm what I do is I put a little piece of washi tape to kind of hold everything in place you just want to make sure that even with washi tape you kind of you either want to lay it over your pants and kind of get some of the sticky off because even washi tape can sometimes be too sticky and um, tear your paper now here I am using my Tombow mono liquid glue aqua and the reason why I like to use this instead of my Scotch Quick Dry for um, 
doing paper piecing is because it doesn't dry quite as fast so I have time to kind of move things around as you can see here on this little accent piece I I can move that little red uh, piece all over the place to get it exactly where I want it and then once it dries it's clear so that's good but also it dries kind of hard so if you are stacking paper um, it almost it makes it to be almost like chipboard so it's really strong and here I'm going to put on the bowl and I fuss with this bowl because I put it on here and I want it to look like it's sitting um, you know on the on the little stand thing that it's supposed to be sitting on but I I keep tilting it so <laughs> it's all lopsided so I'm gonna fuss with that for a minute but finally I get it on there and now I've got all my pieces glued together and I'm ready to put my page together just gotta move all these things out of the way and, and I'm, I am sorry about having the very bottom of my layout out of frame there I, I usually have my camera situated so that you can see the bottom but I made a mistake in this case now to get that corner piece I actually used my t-square ruler or you could use any ruler or straight edge and I used my mat and see how I'm kind of lining it up here I went from uh, about three inches down and three inches over and drew a line and cut it with my trimmer to get that triangle in the corner and here I'm just using the pattern papers that I picked out just at this point I'm pretty much following Laura's sketch even with my striped paper <laughs> but um, I just love the background with the the timer and the measure spoons and the whisk and everything this um, happiness is homemade collection has more of um, oh, a heritage or even grandma or 50s kind of feel to it which I think is absolutely perfect for scrapbooking pictures with Alton Brown if you've ever seen his show Good Eats you know that he has a lot of decor in the background that's very kind of 50s and 60s inspired uh, now here I fess and fiddle with this so much what I should have done was initially put the strip with the utensils on it on my green scout border first like I'm doing right now but I didn't so I have to fuss and fiddle and I've got adhesive on the back of that green strip and the back of my utensil strip so it's gonna give me some fits but we'll get it in the end and then I struggle with sliding it up under this uh, pattern paper because when I cut the um, the strip out of the paper I did not cut it exactly right so there's this tiny bit of yellow from the other strip that it was next to and I was wanted to make sure that that was covered up but I could still see the red border and then I did finally get that on and now I'm going to fuss and fight with this circle that I cut to get my picture because I kind of want my picture um, tucked underneath at the top but above it on the bottom so here I am kind of like how am I going to do this and this um, banner I need to put the banner down, but I need the banner to be over my circle as well. So I'm going to fuss and fiddle with that. So, But I figure out where I want my banner, and I figure out kind of where I want my picture. And here, see, I'm still trying to get it just right so I'll have room for my embellishments. So I don't want it too far to the right. Now I get everything down and then I'm going to put this little recipe tag from the die cuts 
the die cut pack from the Happiness is Homemade collection. And I'm just, I'm going to use that as my journaling spot. I really don't have too much to say about these pictures other than we had a really uh, great time and was very excited to see Alton Brown live. Um, so I get that down. And when I trimmed off the stripe paper, I realized that my pattern paper was a little bit too long, so I needed to trim everything down to make it 12 by 12. And of course I have paper that gets stuck in the gully. I'll just clean that out later. So now I'm going to figure out where I want to put my title. Now this is a sticker from a, from a paper house sticker sheet that's all about cooking and it's got utensils and border strips and all kinds of fun food related things so I was when I saw that I was like oh it's perfect it goes with Alton Brown beautifully so I used that for my title and I put it um, in the space that Laura allotted for a title in her sketch so like I say, I pretty much follow her placement of things. And then I'm going to start to figure out where I want to put all of my embellishments. And what I'm running into here is they kind of fade into the background. That, uh, that yellow pattern paper kind of disappears with the yellow background of the utensils paper but I'm gonna fix that I'm gonna this little die cut here I can stack my die cut on top of and that helps it to really stand out and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop up the scale and I'm gonna pop up the the tea kettle um, up on some foam and that's gonna help kind of differentiate it from the background as well. So here I'm looking for something to help things just kind of stand out a little more. And I like to have these um, utensils kind of arranged kind of like a bouquet, but um, they don't stay there. They do make it onto the page, but they don't go up there. I'm going to find something else to go up there. This little round sticker here with the fork and the knife, that's going to go there as well as this label and the label gives me a spot to put my date now these pictures were actually taken in 2014 that's when we went to go and see Alta Brown and he's actually um, I think he's coming back to town this fall but we're not going to be able to go see him this time which is really sad now I've had my uh, Good Eat sticker on some uh, wax paper, but I have used this wax paper probably one too many times and it kind of stuck to my sticker. <laughs> so make sure you use wax paper only a few times because it does start to wear out and then it gets stuck to your stickers. And there I just glued a little bow that I made out of twine. And I chose to use black and white twine because that um, Good Eats is black and white. And I don't really have anything else on the page that's black and white. But the my photos are matted in white. And the, um, the label up in the upper left corner, that's white. And here I'm putting some more labels to kind of build... A cluster base and there's white in those and the little fork and knife up at the top are black so I do have some some just kind of splashes of black and white here and there and here's where I put my little bouquet of utensils and while that's drying actually my quick dry bottle is almost empty so it's not really heavy enough to hold down my papers much as I wanted to. <laughs> I can't believe I'm almost finished with a bottle. So there you can see I put some foam underneath the tea kettle and I'm just covering it with tons of glue and I'm gonna stick it 
once I get the edges cleaned off. I'm going to place it up here. And that's where it's going to be. And then I think I write the date up there. Yeah. Well, after I fix my twine. Does anybody else have a problem when they make little bows with this um, two-colored twisted twine where the loops of your bows start to twist over? That uh, That is kind of annoying. And here I'm using some green enamel dots to just kind of finish off. These I got just recently, and I love them. There's so many. They're uh, the, the Altenew ones. They are so nice. And the last thing I'm going to do is in Laura's sketch, she has in her background some big splatters. And I'm just going to use some small splatters with my Heidi Swap Color Shining Gold. And I'm going to sprinkle that around Oh, after I write my, my journaling here. It just says, the girls and I were so excited to see Alton Brown live. And we were. We had so much fun. He is so funny live. We had a wonderful time. And let's see. That's After that is my Heidi Swap Splatters. And that's going to do it for me. Um, I want to thank Sarah from Sarah Scraps for letting me join in with her series. This has been a lot of fun. Make sure you go and check out her channel. I'll have it linked below. And I think some close-ups are coming up, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.